I've written so much into this reference book. It's almost full. It just goes to show how many items you've synthesized. Did you remember anything? <gasps> Sophie, I've remembered something that will be good news for you. What? Yes, there's no mistake. The cauldron of knowledge is the gates of wisdom. So if I if I had the cauldron of knowledge, I'd be able to use even more amazing items. And maybe it'll make all your memories come back at once. Sophie, however, at this time, it's impossible to reach the cauldron of knowledge. That's because the path to the gates of wisdom requires a key to open. A key? Wait, you're the one who made the cauldron of knowledge, right? Why did you lock it? Because with the cauldron of knowledge, anyone would be able to use alchemy. That's why I decided to seal away the cauldron of knowledge until someone worthy of using it appeared. I see. Yes, however, it seems such a person has finally appeared before me. Sophie, I'll teach you the way to make the key. Wait, is it really okay? Yes, I believe that you would use the Cauldron of Knowledge for good. <laughs> that said, creating the key will not be easy. Of course! I see. In that case, I'll teach you the recipe. You must add sun drops and eternity scales to haze grass petals. This will create the key to reach the cauldron, the recipe for the key of truth. Oh, never heard of any of these materials. That's why I told you it wouldn't be easy. Okay, I'll definitely make it. I know that you can do it. All right, first I need to research these materials. Hey, I was just giving her some advice about clothes. What? You were Oscar? Why are you so surprised? Because I didn't know you had interest in clothes. And you were giving Leon advice? Shouldn't it be the reverse? What? I could give some advice too. It's not about color or fashion anyway. Wait, then what was it about? He's kind of plump, right? I figured he would want different clothes than people with more average builds, so I asked him for his opinion. Oh, so that's what it was. He was really helpful. I think I can still make some improvements for comfort when it comes to clothes like this. You can come to my store anytime if you have more questions. My mom's always there. Oh, does that mean your mother made the clothes you're wearing? Yeah, that's right. Mrs. Margarita's really skilled. She's good at cooking, too. I really admire her. I see. Then maybe I'll go talk to her sometime. You're always welcome. Even more welcome if you buy some vegetables while you're there. <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Welcome to my... What? Sophie, do you know about the Fallen Palace? Huh? The Fallen Palace? Apparently, it's a palace that fell from the sky. What? From the sky? I'm kind of skeptical about it, too. But there are a lot of people who saw it. It sounds like there are ruins of a palace that's upside down. And that's why people say that it could have fallen from the sky. There's a place like that? If you decide to go there, I want you to tell me all about it. Okay.
show you my secret sword technique. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, Sophie, welcome. She came to pick up the clock I fix. Yeah, about that. You have a really relieved look on your face. What happened? I just heard an interesting story. The clock was actually something my dad made. Yeah, long ago she asked my dad to make her a clock and that's what he built. 
It sounded like my dad had a lot of troubles making it. He had built it from scratch several times. It seems that rumor was wrong. My dad wasn't skilled over since he was a kid. This is just my guess, but I think my dad trained for years and finally got good enough to be called a genius. And it just means that he wasn't a natural born genius clockmaker. I was stressed out for all these years for all for nothing. <laughs> this is amusing. I made a decision, Sophie. I'm going to improve my skills and become a clockmaker who surpasses my dad. I'll become a master clockmaker and beyond someone who's even <laughs> known as a genius. Yeah, I'll definitely do it. Hot Sophie, are we injured? That's good. Now then. This should do it. <clears throat> Here you are, Sophie. There's no need for thanks. We sh <laughs> When we're done, we shouldn't linger here for very long. Sir Julio. Oh, Sophie? Sir Julio, you don't seem very cheerful. I was a little concerned. It's possible that I should have killed him. Why are you saying that? All that Nazareth wished for, I'm the one who refused it. I thought it would be the right choice that I would have gone against my code of chivalry. However, Nazareth has suffered all because of this, and in the end, my self assistion did nothing to help him. I forced him to listen to me. It's possible that I was the one in the wrong. I think you're wrong about that. What? Sir Julio, you said that it's a knight's duty to protect everyone. I don't think that killing Nazareth would have been the best thing. If Nazareth was to die, I would be really sad. Not just me, but everyone who knows him. You would be sad too. That wouldn't make anyone happy. That's why. You're right, it's exactly as you say. I knew the answer from the start. It's a knight's duty to defend the happiness of everyone. Not just the people in the of my eyes, it's the people around them aren't happy too. There's no point of any of it. That's right, I managed to make the medicine too. You completed it? It will be effective. Like I said, it would work. I see. Then we can't just stand around here. We need to hurry too.
This is some sort of laboratory. Is that a synthesis cauldron? Why would it be here? It appears this was once a place for alchemy research. Really? What kind of research were they performing? Is that Nazarus? He seems to be further inside this building. We need a hurry. Yes. Secret sword technique. Maintaining the offense. This should do it. you my secret sword technique. Nazareth. Now this is our chance to make him drink. Understood. Where am I? Nazareth. Good, it seems you've regained control. I see, so you're still alive. Yes, you are. Sophie made medicine for you. I see, thank you, Sophie. Yeah, what's wrong? Why such a sad face? Your arm hasn't been cured. What are you saying? It's thanks to you that I could return to normal. Don't worry about my arm. But it's as Nazareth says, Sophie. It seems it won't progress any further. Huh? Really? Yes, I don't feel the ominous presence that was there before. I believe the curse was consuming his body has disappeared. Long time passed while his arm was transformed, so that's the reason why it probably didn't return to normal. I see, but now I don't have to worry about attacking people. You finally done it, Nazareth. Julio, thank you. It's all because of you. No, I haven't done anything. It was thanks to Sophie and Plakta. 
but if I hadn't met you back then, I would have turned into a monster sooner or later. You hardly even knew who I was, and why did you do so much for my sake? It's a knight's duty to protect everyone. I only did the obvious. If I had abandoned you back then, I would have started to give up on everyone in a similar situ position. I intend to continue to protect everybody. I believe that's the right path. As a knight. Furthermore, this isn't the end. Your arm hasn't returned to normal. I'll continue to search for a way to return. For now, let's return to the town and rest. You're right, Nazareth, you should come to the church. You can rest easy there. No need for thanks, the duty of a knight. Yes, what is it? I thought I heard a strange voice just now. Were you talking? No, I haven't said a word. And I don't think I heard anything. Maybe you're just tired, Sophie? Hmm. Maybe. That seems most likely. You should get some rest. Hmm. Was I really just hearing things? I'm kind of curious now. Oh, Nashi, is your arm feeling okay? Yeah, thanks for the medicine. Why did you come here today? To tell the truth, I'd like you to make that medicine again. I'm thinking of going on a journey, and I'd like to have it. I'm sure there are other people who are suffering just as I did. If I happen to meet them while on my search to fix my arm, I want you. I want to help. When you're done making it, please bring it to me to the laboratory. Yes, I was researching the documents there. I think I'll understand what the place was intended for. I'll probably be finished by the time you deliver the medicine. Thanks again. And then... Dazra said he would be going on a journey, so you should probably go there. I need to make lots and lots of it, so he can give it to other people. You realize there's a prayer every week at the church, right? Like, every Sunday? Now that you mention it. Right, you hardly go there. Well, I'm concentrating on synthesis, I know, in case we should go together next week for prayer. I don't want to. No, you haven't been coming at all lately. You need to go at least once in a while and show me you're serious. Understand? Uh, I don't know. Do you understand? I got it already. I'll see you next week. It's a promise, okay? I'll have to go next week. Oscar, I made the fer fertilizer. Why are you sniffing it? If I smell it, I can pretty much tell what's in it. Yeah, this is the, like, good stuff. I'll test it out when I get home. Just leave it to me. Fritz, can I ask about your daughter? My daughter? Well, I don't really mind. What kind of person is she? I can't imagine what she's like. That's a hard question to answer. To put it nicely, she's optimistic. To put it... Uh, I don't know what to say as her parent, but she's a really cheerful girl. In a way, she's kind of like you. Yeah, but you already know what kind of personality I have. I don't really know where she got her personality of hers. Uh, no, her personality is, all, personality is a lot different from my daughter's too. Let's talk about my family now. Let's stop talking. Now that I think about it, my daughter and I are all are alike in some ways. We're very similar in the fact that we both love dolls. For some reason, she seems to understand dolls really well.
Can you tell by looking? I'm drinking tea. This is a cafe. Of course it's ordinary. What else would you come here for? But the tea Mr. Hoist makes is really good. It, he's drawing out all the leaves. The quality. Tea leaves are plants. I can hear the voices of the leaves. I refuse to compromise on the quality for anything I serve. I put my heart into brewing each cup. I believe that your mom is already quite the hard worker. I think you should be the one learning from this. Hey, wait. No way. I'll take your word for it. Thank you very much. Please come again. Hey, Sophie. What's up? Not much. I just dropped by. I see. It's fine. Tis, you're really amazing. Amazing. Why are you saying this? I was just thinking about... How cheerful you are. I'm always cheerful and serious about my work. It's not just this shop's poster. You're so confident. I wonder if Mr. Hoy's shop is doing very well. You say some good things. Mister, did you hear that just now? Yes, I heard it. If you did, then maybe you should give me just a little a raise. I admit that influence has increased sales, but no. Wait, are you not satisfied with your current wage test? No, it's not that. I'm actually doing pretty well. But I have my own dream too. It never hurts to have more money. Your dream, huh? What is it? Listen, and be amazed. My dream is to open my very own shop. I'll make a big shop and my whole family will work there. Well, that sounds like fun. A wonderful dream. That means in the future you'd be a competitor of mine. Now that you mention it, that's true, but I won't lose even to someone li against you. I have no intention of losing either. I'll look forward to when the time comes. They both seem to be having fun. This is really nice. Are you, what are you thinking? What's wrong? Are you concerned about something? A little. Do you know about a plant called the Eternal Blossom? Do you know anything about it, Plakta? That's a nostalgic name, though I haven't seen it recently. I guess nobody's seen it around here anymore. What kind of flower is it? It's a plant that grows in distantly vegetated area. If it's exposed to direct sunlight for even a moment, it won't ever be able to bloom again. Until several decades ago, it was fairly common to see it in this area, but... Could that expansion of the town destroy all the places where the eternal blossom could grow? That possibility is undeniable. I see, that's a little unfortunate. Stop that, Sophie, you're acting like the eternal blossom is extinct. The vitality of plants is way stronger than, pe <laughs> than people seem to imagine. I'm sure it's surviving somewhere. You think so? I believe in that. Sophie, if you find any information about it, just let me know. Oh, who could that be? Yes? I'm coming in, Sophie. Yep, that's right. That's Here's the haze grass. Is it really okay? That's what it wanted. Huh? The flower, it said it wanted to repay the person who made it such great fertilizer. That's what it told me. Flower said that? Yeah, it was a decision, so I respected that choice. That's why, Sophie, I want you to use it with care. Oscar? Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you, too. I'll take good care of you. Hmm, what to make? Monica? Sophie, you came. Yeah, pretty impressive, right? Yes, very much so. I didn't think you managed to come right away. You didn't trust me? But seeing how you made it, I guess you're fine. You can come every week now. I don't think I can make it every week. I have work. You can spare. That's good. We're going to start today's prayer. Let's go, Sophie. Yeah. Monica learned love sweets. That's not a bad idea. Really? Alright. However, if we're going to do it, we need to select ingredients carefully. Hello. Oh, Sophie, welcome. Welcome back. 
You know how I talked? Well, give me a hint. I was started to think that there are people who can't eat anything here. I thought it would be great if we change up the menu. I know, right? Tess was thinking about the dish. It would be possible. I'll have to <laughs> you taste it when uh, I come up with the idea. Whew. Thank you very much. Oh no, thank you. You were most helpful. Hello, Monica. Sir Julio. Ah, Sophie. Hello, Sophie. What were you two doing? I was having a sword match with Sir Julio. A match? After fighting together, I noticed that Monica has splendid swordplay. I asked her if she would spar with me. I see. After actually sparring with her, I can see that Monica's use of her shield is quite skillful. Thank you very much. However, most people who use quick sword movements, such as yourself, tend to evade rather than use a shield. Why did you decide to use a shield? I'd be fine without one alone, but when I'm fighting alongside everyone, sometimes there's little room to move. I figured that having a shield for those times would offer better protection. Interesting. Why do you choose not to use a shield? In my case, there's a part of me who doesn't like using shields, but I also stress offensive power. If you use a sword that's too light, your attacks may not deal significant damage to certain larger opponents. This sword also makes blocking attacks much easier. True. A sword that large would probably work well. Exactly. Huh. It sounds like swords are pretty complicated. That's right. I need to improve my skills even more. Sir Julio, would you mind sparring with me again sometime? Of course. You're more than welcome anytime. I'll just keep working on my alchemy. 